it's Katie, and you cannot see me right now because I am holding the camera, obviously. I'm standing with my back against my front door to my dorm, so this is what you see right when you walk in the room. So fascinating. Um, so I'm just gonna kinda go around, show you guys my room, what there is to see, and hopefully you guys will enjoy. So if you guys have any questions, you know, specifically about where things are from and stuff that I don't mention, just feel free to shoot me a comment in the comment section below and I will get back to you. So I'm gonna turn around. This is what my door looks like. It's really, really cute, not really. There's a blue piece of tape on there from the first day. So when you walk into the left is my vanity, which I'm gonna go through in a minute, but uh, right next to that is this door and that leads to the bathroom that I share with the two girls across the way. So we have this nice mirror here. I'm looking rather gross today because I just got back from the gym. But anyway, this is what the vanity looks like. Um, I share it with my roommate, um, but she doesn't put her makeup on here. She uses her desk for her makeup, so that is why my makeup is taking up the entire vanity, basically. As you guys can see, I have my brushes all right here in a mason jar. I have my two deodorants that I alternate. I have my Dulce & Gabbana light blue perfume, which is my go-to perfume. I'm obsessed with it. And then here is all of my makeup. Up. This container is from Target and so is this container. They're both from Target. This front little section is all the makeup that I wear on an everyday basis and all the other stuff is just makeup that I wear, you know, out or in videos. Give this video a nice big thumbs up if you want to see an updated college makeup routine sort of video and I'll do that. Here are my blushes, my mineralized skin finish, my um, beauty blender cleanser, I have some bobby pins right there, and then my go-to makeup wipes which I use every single day without fail. Here's our sink. Um, our soap, which is glorious. We have this little container here that holds our toothbrushes. This is from Bed Bath & Beyond. I bought this. My moisturizer, my cleanser, my hairspray back there. Um, we have this soap that cleans dishes, um, my exfoliator. We have our toothpaste, floss, um, and then this mason jar is holding my hairbrush, which is kind of disgusting, I'm sorry. And then we have this hand towel here, which I got from Target and a light switch, which is amazing. There's so many light switches in this place. So transitioning over onto this wall, um, this is what it looks like, a little overview. This is our micro fridge, and this was provided by our college. Up on top, we have our chips. These are Hannah and I's favorite chips. They're the Simply Balanced Organic Tortilla Chips from Target. Uh, whenever we go to Target, we always pick up a bag because we're obsessed with them, and they're actually really healthy. We have this little hanging thing, I don't know what to call it, it's from Urban Outfitters, um, and I just put these little pebble things in the bottom to make sure it stays up. These are a bunch of accessories that we have just for running out the door, so I have my sunglasses, and we'll put our lanyards on here, like our college swipe lanyards, um, when we're not using them, but mine is not here right now because it has some personal information on it. So, this is my mug from Anthropology that Hannah gave me as a gift before we got to college, and then right here is just some Bath & Body Works room spray that makes our room smell nice and lemony fresh. So then, Karen Going on down here, I have this little three drawer thingamajig that I got from Bed Bath & Beyond. So right on top here I have this little bin which I got from Target. Both of these are from Target. Basically everything in my room is from Target. I have two boxes of tea back there. We have the Gypsy Cold Care uh, Throat Coat Breathe Easy Tea which is good for when you're sick. Um, and then I have my lemon ginger tea and I have more tea below. I just am obsessed with tea. I usually will put it in my mug right up here and put it in the microwave and you know, there you go. I also have this little mason jar cup thing that I'm obsessed with, um, and I got this from Target as well. Then I just have some Vaseline lotion, which I put on when I'm running out the door. I have some Advil and some medicine. And this is my pride and joy. It's a huge bucket full of like Kind Bars, Z Bars, Luna Bars, all sorts of bars because that is what I eat for breakfast. So in the first drawer I just have some extra Z Bars, I have some green tea, I have my dryer sheets, some spoons. Second drawer I have my curling iron, I have a Swiffer duster, I just have um, cotton rounds, cotton balls, nail polish remover. And then in the last one I have some like what are those? Adhesive bra things, I have some pads, tampons, um, makeup remover wipes, Windex, all sorts of stuff like that. So next to this I just have my rain boots because it is pouring down rain right now so I just throw them on and run out the door. I just have my Audrey Hepburn canvas on this wall which I brought from home. So then as you walk through the room on this wall, okay I'm just going to back up. Favorite, favorite artwork, it is Starry Night by Vincent Van Gogh. And I got this from the poster fair that my school held a couple weeks ago. Um, and I just used command strips 
like little poster strips to put on the back so it doesn't peel off the paint. Below that, I just have my go-to bag, which I carry everywhere. I put all my school stuff in there. It's my Longchamp bag, and it's in a olive green color. And then below that, I have my suitcase because I just got back from a trip to the Hamptons for a super secret project that I will be telling you guys about eventually. So this area right here is kind of bare right now. We don't really know what to do with it. We're gonna try to put like a mini little, I don't know, futon or something here, a love sack, that's what I want, but they're so expensive, I don't know. We haven't quite decided, but there is this chunk of room that I just haven't filled up, so we're gonna do something with it because there isn't much seating in here. So from there, we have my lofted bed, which is at the highest setting that I could possibly go up, and it's so high up because I wanted my desk to fit nicely underneath, and as you guys can see, it just opened up the room and I have so much more space. Um, and over here, Hannah did the same thing with her bed. I'm not gonna go through her stuff, obviously, but as you guys can tell, it just opened up the room completely. So this is what my bed looks like. I'm currently literally holding the camera up as high as I can possibly go. So I climbed up onto my bed so I can give you guys a better look. I have this comforter which is this waterfall white really fluffy comforter from Urban Outfitters. I have two pillows in the back from Home Goods. Um, this pillow right here, the white one, is from Target. The dorm sweet dorm pillow back there is from Francesca's collection and then this one up here is one I brought from home um, but the cover is from Target as well. So I got some twine and some clothespins and I hung up a bunch of my photos just from back home and my friends and family and it makes me so happy to look at these and then up there I have that little hanging dream thing I don't know what to call it and my mom got that for me as a going away present so I guess I will go on to show you guys my closet um, on the door is this calendar this is what my closet looks like Wow, the door just completely swung open perfectly um, so obviously I have this shoe rack here on the door which I showed you guys in one of my dorm halls I'm pretty positive right up top there I just have my winter boots and things that I haven't quite gotten out yet like a jacket and some backpacks and things um, and then all of my clothes as you guys can see I have two different colored hangers because I ran out of hangers which is not the classiest looking thing but it works um, and then underneath I have my dirty clothes little bin on the right I don't do laundry till Sundays and today's Friday below my clothes I have this three-story little rack thing, which I put sweatshirts on and dresses that don't have straps on them. Everything that you see in here is from Target. I got it all from Target. So we're kind of jumping around a little bit, but now let's move on to the area below my bed, which is my desk and my dresser. So right here we have my dresser, which just has all the clothes that I can't hang up. The first drawer is all of my underwear. Second drawer I have all of my t-shirts and my workout tops. And then the bottom drawer has all of my pants. So my pixie pants, some jeans, some sweatpants, and just everything pant related. Then up top here, I have all of my school books and my Bible and just random other books all stacked neatly as you guys can see. This little drawer thingamajig that has the four little compartments is from Home Goods, and I just keep all of my chargers and computer cords and just things like that. Um, then right on top there I just have some Bath and Body Works goodies. I have some lotion, some spray, things that I haven't quite gotten around to using yet. In the back I have some cork tiles that I got from Target and as you guys can see it just carries on. I hang little notes and trinkets and things that I've gotten. Then up here I have these little whatever you want to call them, like little flower things. I got these from Urban Outfitters and they came in little like fan looking things and I just popped them out and hung them up. Then if you turn this way, I have this little K hanging out that my mom made me and gave to me before I left. I have my lamp right here, which is from Target. Both pieces are from Target. Um, I think it's super cute. My friend Cole was here the other day and he was telling me how confused he was about, you know, how the base is transparent and there's no way of like holding it up or anything. It's just kind of cool looking. Down here I have this little at symbol and I'm pretty sure my mom got it from Marshalls, but I've had it for a couple years, so I really have no idea. Um, then I have a stapler, I have some gum. These are all of my books and my computer um, that I bring around during the day. I have some more cork tiles, and I have hung up some photos from prom. I have these little inspirational um, like five by seven things that I got from Etsy, which are super cute. Behind the computer, I have this little storage system thing, which I'm pretty positive is from Urban Outfitters. I showed it in one of my unboxing hauls. So next up, I I have my huge iMac computer. Right here I have a cork board which maps out all of my YouTube related things. On the left side are a bunch of sticky notes of my 
upcoming videos and things like that. My college actually provided me with this chair, but I just bought this little furry thing from Ikea to put on it because it was really uncomfortable and I just wanted to, you know, be comfortable when I'm sitting here doing hours and hours of work. Then over here we have my lamp, which is super interesting. We have our AC unit right there. I have my tripod. Then I have this little bin down here, which is from Home Goods, and I have my detergent in there and my camera bag with all my lenses. Um, then I have this little hook thing that I just stuck on my bed, and I have just a random headband there. I have this little fringy bag from South Moon Under that I bring everywhere. I have my rain jacket and an umbrella. So on this back wall, you have my favorite photo of all time, which is very highly controversial, I know, and I'm going to get a lot of hater comments about it, I also know that. All I ask is you do your research before you choose to comment on this photo because it has a completely different story than people often think it does. I hate that I have to explain myself on this photo because it is my favorite, but I do understand that a lot of you guys um, think that it is controversial, so yeah. Right here on the windowsill, we just have my phone, which is plugged into the wall, I have my Beats Pill, which is an amazing speaker. I completely recommend it. I got it from Kohl's. And then right here I have this little clock that tells me what time it is, of course. Um, and I got that from Clean and Clear. They gifted that to me. Gosh, guys, I don't even know what this thing is called. I'm still struggling with what it's called. But we wrote hello on it with chalk and it just hangs with command strips right above the window and it's super cute right when you walk in you can see it. Um, so there's Hannah's side and there's my side. Last but not least, we have this really awesome rug which we got from Target. As you guys can see there's that huge bump right there on my side that I still cannot get rid of. I've tried literally everything to get rid of that bump. Like I've put the heaviest things I own on it and tried to smooth it out but it just it does not cooperate so if you guys have any miracle solutions for me please let me know but in the meantime I have this huge bump in the rug so yeah but it's really cute it's from Target and it's super soft because our carpet is really ugly otherwise. So that is it for the room. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed this dorm tour. I'll probably do an updated one in a couple months after I buy some more things because I'm obsessed with decorating it. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye!